Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel! I know it's been a while, but I am back with another recipe video. If this is your first time here, welcome! My name is Marina and I'm from the glamorous Beverly Hills and I'm all about that healthy lifestyle, delicious food. So if you want to stick around and learn some weight loss tips, healthy recipes, just subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I made a recipe video, but you know, today you're in for a treat. It's been kind of icky here in Beverly Hills, raining a lot, it's gloomy. So I thought that today would be the perfect day to make these, what I would call apple pie tarts. I actually have a video that I posted a little while back. It's the like apple crumble or apple crisp recipe, which has done really well. So I thought today I'd take the inspiration from that video and make something a little cute. I'm just gonna use these little tart containers and make little pie tarts. They're gonna be so cute. These tarts are gonna be absolutely gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, they're vegan, and they're gonna be so cute. I think eating something, you know, something really cute and miniature like this is so much more fun. So wouldn't you agree? Thumbs up if you agree. Anyways, let's get into the recipe. So the first thing that I'm gonna make is the crust for the tart, of course. And for that, I have my handy dandy food processor here. So I'm just gonna take all of the ingredients, uh, which I will have listed down in the description box, the exact measurements. One of the main ingredients in this crust are dates. Dates help create the sticky consistency and also add sweetness without having to use extra sugar. Just be sure to soak the dates in hot water for like 10 minutes before blending. Now comes a little bit of a messy part. I'm gonna take these containers and press the dough into these to create the crust. So the tarts are now done, I'm just gonna pop them on a tray and bake them until they're nice and crispy. Now let's move on to the filling. I'm using three large Granny Smith apples and I'm gonna chop them up into cubes and then stew them on the stove top in a pan until they soften up. So the crusts are done! I'm just gonna let them cool a little bit and then put the apples inside and then we're done.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I know I did. It's so yummy, it's so cute, and it's gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, it's vegan, so you can just relax and enjoy it. <laughs> and speaking of enjoying, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye!